You're now listening to the Palmetto Dugout Show, hosted by State Director Sammy Esposito, Associate Scouts Drew Stewart and Sean Smith, that discuss all things related to amateur baseball in South Carolina. Here are your hosts. What's up, brothers? Here we go. <laughs> Episode 81 of the Palmetto Dugout Show. Coach Austin, Coach Espo, what's going on? <clears throat> Coach, it, obviously, it's easy to get an easily hat. It looks like so. You know, yeah. when you're popular, when you when you make a pick like a, a big sweep to win the region championship, people just follow you. I'm just wondering if uh, Coach Austin has made his way to the Heritage this weekend. That's really more so what I'm I'm interested and in worried he's about. Well, he was, moved I on from Augusta. Augusta. I was there and I just uh, didn't change the background. I was there, and it, it weather delay. We're still going. <laughs> hey, did you get your? Uh, I do. I, I love the. I love the hat in the background. It kind of makes me feel like you might should have went to a game over there this week. Probably, well, not. you know. Did, did you, coach, coach, easy now. Easy. Drew, Drew, don't make it out easy. You know, I had a, I had a, I had a spectator. I'm gonna leave him unnamed. Um, who who said why isn't Drew here? And I said I don't, I don't know. And he said, well, he's probably at Seneca. So and I, and that, <laughs> no, that I was didn't too come, busy watching. I was that too did busy not take a McGovern pitch for the Tigers. Yeah, that didn't come from me though. That came from uh, from from an, uh, to be left nameless spectator. Do a source to be named later. Yes, Adam Schefter. <laughs> Adam Schefter. Schefter. Here we go. Coming in hot. He's back. Um, <laughs> Freaking news. I mean, Shefty was actually right about the Saban retirement. We were just late. Because we got a lot of comments dropping right now. Uh, I think I figured out who that spectator was, um, Austin, as they dropped a comment down in the comments. So I think I've, I've got that spectator. Um, but I we'll, cannot we'll get to the nor deny. <laughs> we want some for more than I either. Um, his identity. Um, it could be uh, Bob or Omar. We don't know. Uh, I, I think I might have saw Omar's truck, by the way, yesterday. I don't know. Then there's Spanky's. <laughs> Spanky's. <laughs> Coach, I didn't, I didn't see Omar's truck at Spanky's. I kept zooming by Spanky's. I did see Omar's truck in Florence. So if Omar, if you were in Florence yesterday, call it around, what was that, one thirty ish 2 o'clock? Let us know. Then I know where you're. I know I found you, Coach. Coaches, we have a, a big episode as we, we break down the Power Twenty Five. The update is here. Um, we got some big series of the week as well as a game of the week. Um, a lot of these will decide um, some playoff seating as we move on. But first, get to the an important part here: um, events upcoming, Coach. And before I let you speak, um, a lot of these events are qualifiers for the junior futures future games which at this point i'm not sure why these these kids want to miss out on this um because it is the biggest event of the year period coach and i'm gonna I'm I'm add on to that it's also a qualifier for our new brand new super sophomore games yep. that we're bringing a team south carolina only to up to wake forest university to whip up on teams from up and down the east coast but also qualifier for the year two of the prep baseball all-american game with this year being head, held down in miami which austin has already claimed the rights to just go i think for everybody um on that one but no, yeah i so, agreed to go right. when it was in milwaukee so i could slide down the slide <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so you, you're right right all of our events right we got the um our first one on on may 25th the rising stars event up there at the hit mill Big a bit big deal for us with our, our rising stars, and then on June fifth, uh, just left the, the friendly confines of the fight in Holbrooks today. We'll be back down there at the College of Charleston for our first Team Carolina event, two thousand twenty five through two thousand twenty eight event. Um, and by the way, in between innings, they play some great music down there on the video board with 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 the videos, the music <laughs> video to go along with it. So I'll throw that one out there today. I saw that on board. Um, but again, those team qualifiers, team Carolina qualifiers, right? Border battle, which that roster, we're, we're, we're going to have some roster spots left, but that thing's filling up quick. So 
which then we go from Team Carolina trials where you get opportunity for the border battle. You get the <clears throat> junior futures, future games, top prospect games. You get the super sophomore games, team, um, the All-American games. So all those things are huge in that. And then right after that, right next week, uh, June 11th and 12th, we're going to be up there at UNC Charlotte for the border battle where we get to whip up on North Carolina like we did last year, um, do that one again. And then July 2nd, you guys will be traveling. I will not be traveling. I'll be staying home here in Columbia for the first ever uh, event at the University of South Carolina, Team um, Team Carolina Trials event for that one. So pack summer, um, pack summer scheduled for us and a bunch of scout days rolling in there. One coming up here at the end of May, all hands are on deck. Um, it will be, without a doubt, the biggest um, prep baseball South Carolina event ever. I can go ahead and tell you that one without us getting all the signups on for that one. But we're fired up to get these things rolling. I know we still got to finish up high school baseball, which we're fired up to get to these playoffs. But the events are coming, and they're coming in fast. So if you guys want these opportunities, especially for these top-end invite deals, come on down. Sign up for these Team Carolina trials or Rising Stars. Get a chance to get the data, get evaluated. Get the stuff out there. And I'll throw this one out there. I got an email the other day, and this is a lot for the Rising Stars, right? And this became about the player rankings. How do we get ranked? How do we get ranked? And, right, we're not we're not one of those where you're only going to get ranked if you come to an event. But, right, it's they're big for us because we have an event. We get a bunch of kids come to one area. We can compare players to guys at their age group, their classification. We can compare the data, the matrix. And then on top of that, then we get to see them play, whether it's at tournaments or high school games. We kind of roll all that one into into the ranking. So those those events are are big for those things. So it's if we have two kids that that we're unsure of the ranking where they're going to go, and we have a kid who we've just seen play, whether it's called in a tournament or a season, and we have a kid that we've seen in a tournament season, and he's been to an event, we have the data to back it up. We, we can adjust the the scales one way or the other on that one so there those things uh those events are coming in they're big for us the fun part is coming um now austin the only reason austin joined today um part of episode 81 um is to talk about the weekly review here um so also we'll, we'll oh I, I took it off because i'm so pissed about it um i'm gonna I'm a step away and let you guys fight Go ahead. Austin, I will go ahead and get you your shit talking out of the way. <laughs> Nothing. Final score speaks for itself. That's all I got. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't to, I don't have to say anything. Hey, I, I, I'm still a uh, fighting Stewie Hawk. Um, no matter what happens, because I mean, maybe you know, if they can make it all the way, maybe I'll get a ring out of this deal. Um, oh God, here we go again. We're, trying, we're going for stuff. <laughs> I mean. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna have two oh. rings this year. We're gonna have a fighting Stewie Hawk and a fighting uh, what is it called? A fighting green the fighting green Stewies um, on this oh, one. Here so, we go. Yeah, it's it's a twofer. Um, but hey, James Island does get a big win over over the uh, Hawks there, um, and easily sweeping Greenville. <laughs> Only one person called it. You two were very shocked. I, I mean, speechless shock. I don't. I don't know if speechless is the word I, I would go for, but right out. I, I mean, I thought we, we both thought it was going to be a, a, obviously I can't speak 100% for Austin, but I do think we thought it was going to be a good series and tough battle. And, you know, again, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't easy being from easily or playing easily or beating easily. It what everybody, easy anybody wants to, easily. What, what everybody wants to change our, our, our term to these days, but regardless of right, two good teams that went at it and, one came out on top, beat them, and we'll have to see how they shake out when they get in the playoffs. But you know, those big time, big time games. Big time. Yeah, it was a big, big week for them. I, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't quite as willing to drink the easily Kool Aid that everybody else was until I got to see them. But now that I've seen them, my Kool Aid tastes pretty good. I guess <laughs> yeah, that's a. That, that's a uh, I, green- all, all jokes, all jokes aside, though, that's a, that's a good team because that Greenville team is still not bad. I know I gave them the jinx last week when I gave them a shout out, the new coach, you know, yeah, of and just just kind of put them in the ground this week. But 
Um, yeah, that that easily team. They got they got a couple some good arms. Uh, can swing the bat a little bit. Got some older guys there. That's even, even some younger guys has played a lot of baseball for that team. So, um, Coach Bank has been around forever. He's you know you're not gonna get anything by him. So, I, I think that's definitely definitely a team that can continue making some noise. And uh, I think I think they've got the arms and the ability to score runs. That I, I wouldn't be shocked if they win some playoff games. Shocked, right? Hey. Never know. Um, I was shocked they swept Greenville, but I'm not going to be shocked now that I've seen them. So, no, I'm not shocked. Never shocked. Hadn't been this year, but still not shocked. Um, you were shocked I, when you I'm, saw the final score of that James Allen Hanahan game. Hey, what, there's only because I was shocked. Real, there's only one real green wave in the state of South Carolina this year, and it's easily. Um, now <laughs> he's jumped. He's done jump shit from Hanahan. He's he's gone. No, I'm still a fighting Stewie Hall. They oh. they got boot they got boat raced. He's going Hanahan. I go. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for Coach Stewie. No, you know, I'm still he, in the Hanahan. He's side. just because you guys lost one game and and it wasn't a good close game. He's out. So I apologize. Hey, hi, hypothetical question for you: What happens if Hanahan plays Powdersville in the state championship and Landon Fowler pitches? Who am I pulling for? You, your blood, Fowler. You know what I mean? You gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta go, your cousin. You know, <laughs> that's like a McGovern was, situation. Yeah. The bad exactly. part is you wouldn't be able to go to the game because they wouldn't play it inside of Oconee County. No, I'd go. <laughs> I'd get on Powdersville's bus and head down there with them. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if they anyway because every time you get on somebody's train, they fall apart so easily. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for a couple of L's. <laughs> You're gonna get a couple of L's this week, so I go ahead and apologize for hey. the coach Stewie Jinx. I'm not getting on anybody's train. I'm I'm stuck on the on the James Allen Trojan wagon. The back of this hoodie says BTY. I know y'all don't ever get to see it because I'm facing this way, but facing the green back here, it says BTY. According to Coach Spivey, that means better than yesterday. I I don't know that they're going to be better than they were last week. That's probably. I think they probably maxed out right there Wednesday night. Wow, that's a statement. <laughs> Well, Coach, how do you get much better than winning 15-3 to three over the number three ranked team in, in y'all's Power 25? And y'all 15-0? It don't get, it don't get no better. It, it's hard to get better than that. But you can get better. Yes, if you're better than, better than yesterday. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, well, I mean, um, I'm still not sure that that's what it stands for, but I, you know, I, I, I believe it when I see it. I guess I think it stands better bring, than you. Um, bring your own guts. <laughs> <Don't> dab- <laughs> okay. Dab- anyway, anyway, um, get moving to the bomb squad here. I'm sure this will be a shock um, to you two, but I first want to give a special shout out to Lakeview High School. In their tweet, they said, hey, Bomb Squad, we need your services again. We've got some explosive devices over here. Um, and it was Case and Herlong and Chris McGill, two bombs. Shout out to Lakeview for the plus plus tweet. Um, and then plus tweet. the hashtag as well. Um, but who's running that Twitter Bomb page? Squad there? Good for them. Is Aaron Tolbert at Easley High School for a first game Grand Slam versus the Red Raiders um, in game one. It was a tight game. Um, Grand Slam proved to be a uh, ender um, <clears throat> there for game one and kind of set the tone for the rest of the series. Um, so congratulations, Mr. Tolbert, um, on your bomb squad of the week. Coach, the, the players of the week submissions were a little low. They're, they were a little light last week. I get it. Um, they're they're better. We're, we're sitting better right now than we were last week already. Um, you know, and again, maybe guys didn't have great weeks, you know, so, so you, you always got to take that one into account, but we're, we're in a better spot right now. Um, kind of looking at these, we got some good ones already in here. So it's going to, uh, I'm looking at one right now that's got, um, I'm not going to say a name cause we got to let, the, we got to let the people vote, but we got a seven inning 14 K game that's out there. Uh, Uh-oh. that's already been submitted. So uh, I, I'm not going to throw that one out there. We got a another no hitter. By the way, the amount of no hitters <clears throat> that we've had in high school baseball this year is is out of control. Um, so applaud those guys. But yeah, our submissions 
to this point right now on this wonderful Sunday night at 7.15 is already well ahead of where we were last week. So we got more time tomorrow about 12 o'clock. Coaches get those things in. I get it if you don't have somebody you don't think had a great week, but I'm, somebody had to have some great you weeks. You never know. Some of the scores I'm seeing around there. Hey, throw it in again. We're we're here to know. we're here to pub these guys. Give give these guys uh, some love. Um, whether it comes out in the player of the week or the next day with the diamond nuts, just try to try to highlight those guys and 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 give them their love and give them their chance. And you know what? That might be that guy's best week, right? It might have been the best week of his career. You know, be able to throw that in there, fill it out, and. You know, again, if you're not sure what to do with it, you can email me. Obviously, it's posted all over uh, Twitter, and we put it on Facebook as well. I got yelled at by my social media person here for putting it too much on uh, Instagram. So um, it, it's it's on all those things. All you got to do is click that link. Plus, you'll have that email. You get that email tonight. Fill that thing out. Highlight those guys and put it on there. And going back to last week, um, Austin will be very happy um, that the honorary pitching coach really did a great job. Um, and the pitcher of the week goes to Colin Anderson and James Island, seven inning pitch, zero to 11 Ks. But nonetheless, the hitter of the week is Stu Rogers at James Island, 727 average, two doubles and three RBIs. So a James Island sweep <laughs> for, for player of the week across the board, pitcher and hitter, Austin's fired up. Good for those guys. That pre-day, that the the uh, Austin got down there and was able to talk to the guys and coach them up a little bit and kind of put it's them. A, in it's spot. a mo- motivational speech. It, you know, sometimes all it takes is somebody <laughs> to believe in you. That's all you need. Because <laughs> those guys are like, I think they're lacking that. <laughs> yeah, they really are. Yeah. <clears throat> and so we got the boys rolling. They're rolling. Um. Only lost out. He's thinking about season. getting him a. He needs like a like a bonus or something. We need to figure out. I don't, I don't know if Charleston School yeah. District does like contract extensions or not. We we got to do something. Yeah. yeah, he's in line to get like one of those like five year deals. <laughs> yeah, with yeah. a nice buyout. I, don't know. And, uh, I mean, just all yeah. kind of stuff. <laughs> nice buyout. <laughs> Golf course membership. Or tickets yeah. to Carolina yeah, games. Gotta, I don't know. We got to get him something. Yeah. yeah. Company vehicle. Yeah, know. we gotta we gotta be able to load him up down there. He's he's you know get 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 that thing locked in before somebody comes in and tries to tries to buy him out. Yeah, well, money, money, money. Know the um, public school might be the first though. high school it's might be the first high school baseball coach in the history of high school baseball coaching to sign a multi year deal. We need to make that happen. How do we get that thing done? <clears throat> Hey, I, uh, we could talk. We can make. We, we can send some fake paperwork down and sign it. I don't know. <laughs> hey, here's, here's your, your master. Comment. Here's your if, comment for the day. If you're listening, Governor yeah. McMaster, get it going. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this week we'll go series of the weeks before we wrap up the Power Twenty Five. Um, so first series of the week, it's a three game series. River Bluff takes on Chapin in a three game set. Um, that region is a, a cluster at this point. I think anyone in that region can win. Um, and I, I think this series is going to have to say so on the kind of who wins that. Um, so we'll start with predictions here, then I'll let you know the fan vote. But Austin, we'll let you go first, like always. Oh man! <laughs> Give me River Bluff two out of three. Two out of three, Coach Espo. Yep. Do you want to go or do you want me to go? I, I'll go. I'll go ahead and roll this one. You know, if, if you'd asked me this like three weeks ago, I'd have been all over the Chapin trail. River Bluff starting and they're starting to peak. Chapin's been holding holding the line, playing well all year, but River Bluff starting to figure this thing out. You know, they've been. <clears throat> Not like they've been struggling. I mean, I think they only got eight losses, so it's not like it's bad. But they're starting to play the best baseball. So I'm going to go River Bluff two out of three. I think someone in this region has to make a statement at some point. Um, and I, I'm nah. going to stay on, on a big train here. Um, and I think Caden Reeves has a huge week. And Chapin sweeps the Gators. Are you trying to get another hat? No, not another hat. <laughs> We're just making bold predictions. Um, Chapin. 
sweep. They they win the region championship. When's the last time they won the region championship? 20? 21? It's in that race. Feels like not recent, but I feel like I, I whatever. I can't I can't confirm nor deny any of those comments. We got we any comment right there, that but... can tell us that. Um but yeah, I, I and, and the fan vote is surprising, guys. Um the top two options were forty one percent river bluff two out of three and a twenty nine percent river bluff sweep. Um not not a lot of optimism on the Chapin side. <clears throat> Either we have more fans on the river bluff side. <laughs> <laughs> and not as many on Chapin, or people aren't believing in the Chapin hype train. Who knows, Coach? We all know why the River Bluff people are voting here. We don't. We don't. <laughs> we're not even. We don't even need to go there. But somebody can probably <laughs> to steer off of that in a hurry. Somebody's probably somebody's mom has to have a T-shirt out there somewhere that says Chapin Region Champs. I don't know what year it is, but dig, dig that thing up. And let us know what it says. Here we go. Hey, the two game series of the week um, is a big one. <clears throat> Undefeated teams in a region for the region championship. It is Buford taking on Sherall. This is this is a tricky one, Coach Buford. Um, uh, if I can for me pull, when it pull it up here. Buford <clears throat> is twenty and one. Um, Sherall takes me takes me a minute here. Um, can't even find it. Sherall is 15 and 4. Who you got off? Gunner Jordan still playing for Sherall. <laughs> yes. Yes. Is he playing this week? Yes. <laughs> give, give me the gun show then. Give me the gun show. Twice. Coach, I got I got two I got two reasons. Coach, you know, here we go. What one? <laughs> <laughs> One, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Like, throw the stats out the window. Don't matter what he's hitting, not hitting. Don't matter. The gun shows in in the in the building, right? We're, the gun shows Play coming out. Bump too. <laughs> he he might hop off that bus and just launch a couple hundred and ten mile an hour X and just you know light him up. Um, number two, which will mainly be number one, Coach Bird, old school Rumi <laughs> back in the day. But also, let's be honest. He's the freaking mayor of Sherrall. I don't, I don't give me the damn mayor for the for the championship right here. Sweep Sherrall mayor to the house. So you, hang on, I hey, need a timeout. I I, can I get can I get thirty right here? Yeah. You're telling me Sherrall's baseball coach is the mayor. You didn't. It, we, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I the, don't think so. I don't even know where Sherrall is. <laughs> Give me Sherrall to win the whole thing now. The coach is the mayor, and they got the gun show. What else do you need? How do you think the gun oh. show got there? The mayor mayor made a few calls. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Hey, from from what I've heard, um, right? We got we got a lot of people laughing in the comments. Um, somebody <laughs> dropped the oh shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hold on. Um, anyway, oh, I heard uh, Tuesday on. before the game they're going to have a cornhole tournament and the gun the, oh, the gun show is going to be boy, present. He was – what was it? What was he on the verge of being a professional cornholer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, he – that you know what? That's the only thing he's going to win this week because Buford's going to take oh. him down. Ah. Little it, – it, we're, we're, we're no longer in the politics game. This is baseball. Give me Buford. They're twenty and one. They moved to twenty two and one. Sometimes you got to go twenty and three. You know what I mean? Well, not this week. You're not, um, unless you're. I mean, who knows? I mean, oh my, these com guys, these comments are like blown up. Um, <laughs> all about the mayor. Um, maybe he'll run for governor here soon. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to do Coach some Bruce. research on this. This is. Probably the coolest you, thing I've go found watch, out this season. Go to our YouTube page and pull up the high school preview show with Coach Bird and Sherall, and he talks all about it. Yep. Perfect. <clears throat> hey. Stewie, I think you might should get in the running for mayor of Oconee County. <laughs> Are you – is that how that works? Are you a mayor of if – only, If only I can coach at Seneca. I don't think you can – can you be the mayor of a county? You can be the mayor of a town. <laughs> 
I said what I was about to say. I mean, you can be a mayor of a city, a town. Coach, you could be the mayor of Forest Acres. <laughs> Come on now. He's already the governor. <laughs> governor. The governor. <clears throat> Sometimes you just got to hey, go around and we, talk. To here, here's your fan building. vote here. We, we got a 42% Buford sweep um, and a 31% mm -hmm. split. Um, to not this, is gonna or, or, this is going to change after the after the after the podcast. I can't wait hey, to some, see the. Someone commented, Commissioner Stewie. So we, we can. You going to take Jerome Charlie's job? <laughs> Charlie the commissioner? What is he? No, Jerome's the commissioner. Charlie's Jerome. number two. Charlie's uh, Charlie's uh, <laughs> Charlie's in charge without what? being in charge. What one more job. one more pick here um, is a game of the week. It is for the region championship. It is a play-in game for the one seed. It is Daniel versus Crescent on Tuesday. Ooh, tough one for Stewie here. <laughs> tough one for Stewie. Tough one. Tough. One. Give me a pick first, then. I'm taking the Tigers because if they're playing on Tuesday, I'm thinking Linker's getting the ball, and that's where I'm going. Okay, I'll I, coach. I'm going to skip you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. We got it. Hold on. I'm excited. Last time Crescent played Daniel on a Tuesday, Daniel, remember we said Daniel destroyed him? Um, Daniel won what one nothing. nothing. Um, Coach Payne at Easley. His son, Jared Payne, coaches at Daniel. I'm sticking with the Easley ties. Give me Daniel to win the region. Mm. Are they going to destroy him again two to one this time? Can we put, can we put it out there though? We 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 do need to clarify that yeah. that was not anybody who actually is associated well that we know of. Nobody who is currently associated with Daniel was in the it was in the people who said that it was a destroying. So was we, a we need to we need to put that out there. It was a comment <clears throat> from a, a somebody associated with Daniel. It must have been somebody's burner account, I guess. Could have been Omar changed his name. We're not sure. It's Bob or Omar. <laughs> Could be. So just so we can get the – we need to get that on the table that that comment did not come from uh, Coach Payne and, and his people. So, And he's still probably – I said it last week, I'm going to say it again. Still, you know, he's at the top of the list of BP and Bungo guys here. So He is at the – he's some, close to the top. You're right. Very close. <clears throat> Coach Espo, who are you going with? So we're going Tuesday night game, right? Yes. Tuesday night. <clears throat> one the you know, one. One the one. I'm going to go ooh, taking Crescent. I don't think Linker's going to – I don't think they're going to lose again. I'm going to go Crescent. Tight ball game. Crescent's going to win it late. Coach Payne, it's on your shoulders. Keeps Dewey moving. Um, Ian McCreary, watch out now. Kid's been on fire lately. Um, fur. For the Lions. Fur. Fur. Um, Who's feeling bold today? I went against all of y'all the whole time. You did. Um, story of my life. Um, hey, so scared money don't make money. That's right. That's why I don't make money. Um, anyway, <laughs> now we move to the power twenty five. Uh, hey, the gun show has joined. By the way, guys. Um, gun show, welcome. Yes, sir. Welcome, to gun show. You're a little late. You just got like a, a six minute shout out from the whole crew here. And the gun show just right. finally getting to it. Sorry. Right. You can go back, go back and watch the recording. Um, so, Power 25. <laughs> Buy subscription. Here we go. Um, we, we, we have some teams fall out. We have some teams jump in. Um, some big teams make some <clears> moves. <throat> but we'll get to it here. The main part is you got to win. Um, teams are really? starting to separate themselves as we, yeah, mm -hmm, as we move into the playoffs in a week. So we move in here. 25, how about this one? Hilton Head Christian Academy sneaks into 25th at 16 and 6. How about the Greer Yellow Jackets at 24, making some moves. Mid-Carolina at 23, Camden at 22, and Airport taking a little stumble at 21. Um, guys. Coach, I'm going to talk about the Hilton Head Christian Academy on this one a little bit. Some of the teams they beat – over the year. And I'm, I'm not going to say we've been sleeping on them a little bit. They've beaten Flora, Buford, Hilton Head Prep, Hilton Head High, Milton High, Norfolk, Team out of Georgia. They just, they, you know, they've beaten some teams, right? And and by the way, they got some dudes. They got some committed guys. 
like I don't know, maybe we have been sleeping on them a little bit, but right, we they text with Drew today. It's like, well, we might need to. The boys need to need to get in there a little bit. So they're coming to make I mean, some noise at the back end. Yeah, I mean they're they're they the, they're the one in in the twenty and one Buford team, right? Are they? They're the one. Buford, not Buford. Buford. Oh, sorry, Buford and Buford, wrong. two different things. Yeah, all, sorry. wrong My different part. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's Buford. They're kind of creeping in. That they mean they mean creeping, but they they crept in our stuff. But obviously, a very talented team that's beating some some good talented teams, and they're gonna make some noise in that that playoffs for them rolling up here soon. But you know, they're praying a little vacation right now because it's golf time down their way. Best time of year. Um, at Greer in a in a tough region mm-hmm. with Barnes and Riverside, mm-hmm. um, they've kind of they've kind of stepped up here. You're going to finish. When they come out number two, right behind Lawrence. Yeah, they finished. Yeah, they're going to finish right Lawrence. behind Lawrence. How about Riverside too having a nice uh, kind of? I did see Pettit last night as well at the uh, Riley Green concert. Mm-hmm. Congratulations to him too on his new gig. Yes, congratulations he went, to him. Trying to ride out in style, ain't he? I, I, I had to give it I to did. him, though. That team, uh, he he texted me the other day giving me a hard time about uh, some of my selections not involving the Riverside Warriors. But I will I will give it to him. That team has pulled a complete 180 from the one we saw down there at, at the shipyard at the beginning of the year. So, <laughs> you know, they, they have uh, – yeah, they, they've turned it around. So, good for them. Thanks. He's trying to ride out in style. <laughs> he might. Never know. Um, we'll see. 20 through 16. Look who joins the ranks. Burns um, at 20. Um, they're, they're staying hot. You got Wando at 19. <clears throat> Buford at 18. River Bluff at 17. Crescent at 16. Let it burn. Let it burn. I'm going to talk about uh, uh, Burns. Burns, I saw them at that Steve Sanders tournament, and they, they lost to or tied or something to St. Joe's or somebody like that. And I was like, oh, this team might not be very good this year. I was wrong. Hey, it turned it hey. <laughs> Ain't how you started, Coach. How you're finishing here, getting getting mm-hmm. rolling in the right thing. Wanda won that region, region, too. Kinda, yeah. Wanda, they, them boys are – they obviously got a talented team and, and and getting it figured out at the right time. And we'll see where River Bluff kind of figures this thing out this week of what they they end up doing. We know we know where Drew's at on the Buford train there. And mm-hmm. we know where me and Austin fall on this Crescent train. But we'll hey, uh line that River Bluff train. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, the only scouting service to ever see Buford this year. So who knows? Um and they won. So I'm just trying to say here. Um, 15 through 11. Um, Berkeley at 15. Great Collegiate at 14. Still winning. Gilbert shoots up to 13. Fox Creek at 12. And how about the Blue Ridge Fighting Tigers up to 11? 15 of their 16, I think they've won, of their last 16. Very yeah. under the radar region champ. We kind of quit talking about them, and, and they just said, you know what? We're, we're going to win it all. Good for them. They obviously have had, you know, a couple arms, you know, at the top of the rotation that that can compete and beat anybody, and they obviously have been doing it. Uh, yeah, Blue Ridge, you know, they're, they, you know, again, right? A couple of these teams get off to some slow starts because they play in, a, you know, some tough preseason tournaments, and you know, you know, people kind of go, ah, they're not as good as what they have, and then they start to get into region. And they just mow through everybody because they are that good, you know. So Blue Ridge got it figured out, and Gray, yeah, they just keep winning, and they're playing a difficult schedule, and they might end up with the most wins than anybody in the state because of all those uh, forfeits that they give them a bunch of those wins in there. So again, hey. that's a that's a confusing thing for me. People forfeiting, but whatever. That's a whole different conversation. I don't think we have time for that one today. Conversation for another day. Um, <laughs> not today, though. So, hey, you move into the top ten here as we break it down one by one. This team, I don't think anybody really talks about them a lot, um, but it is Blythewood. They'll end up finishing second in their region, which we'll get to that first place team here in a minute. Um, but still still the same Blythewood continuing to win. Yeah, they win, and, and they're they're getting those pieces back on the mound like we talked about last time. And it's a, a physical lineup that, that 
one through nine can hit. You know, the last time I saw them play two weeks ago, their seven and eight hitters hit balls through the wind like uh, like they were playing on Little League field, and, and you're doing damage at the bottom of the lineup with some younger guys in there, you know. And then you got those older dudes at the top that can – we all know who can hit, so they're they're very difficult. I, I wouldn't want to play those guys in the lineup in the playoffs with that lineup. <clears throat> yeah, how about the first place team that region? They're going to match up um, this week for a game, but the region's already decided. Um, Fort Mill making <clears throat> a big jump to number nine, another team that that somewhat flies under the radar. Yeah, and the only I, reason they, they fly got, under the radar is because they're they're so far away. <laughs> You know, and when I saw them two weeks ago, right, they they kind of they kind of pushed Clover around a little bit, and I didn't know is this good. They, you know, they're kind of a little bit like like Blythewood, and they're like a little bit like James Island, where people oh they don't have pitch, they don't have pitch, right? Because they don't have the the so called bona fide superstar. You know, they don't have the the Caden Glover at, at Catawba Ridge, but I was told this stat. I don't know what it is right now. At that point in time, after I saw them, they had a team ERA of a two point three six. That's pretty good. And they got a very talented team. Yeah, it gives you a chance to win about every single game you play in Mm -hmm. high school baseball. And they got that that talented athletic lineup that can score you some runs and do it in a hurry. So, Fort Mill, they they obviously – they got a total package up there and and look for them boys to to, to to cause some havoc. They're all, I mean, they're always good. Nobody ever talks yeah. about them. They're, they're just they're just good. They're always good. They're nope. good for they about about two years. years ago when they're playing in the state championship game. Yeah. yeah. One, and they, they got in the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. And they yeah, they got in and they, they that's when they whipped up on Blythewood. Yeah. Um, you know, and nobody thought Blythewood yeah. would lose a game. Yeah, they did. Um <laughs> number eight. Guys, number eight. Take it away. Um, Take it away, Drew. You got this one. You got it. Twenty and three. It ain't easy beating easily. Um, of of the Red Raiders, they've shot up the boards. I don't think anybody saw them being any good this year, um, or or being as good as they are. Uh, but yet yeah, here they are in the top ten, climbing um, with with legitimacy um, to make it to a state championship. Big word for all. Is, it, is that a word? But Austin, but Austin's seen them. So Austin, I can let you talk a little bit more. I I, I told you earlier I couldn't drink the Kool Aid till I saw them. Now I've seen them, and uh, you know, I'm not gonna hop on the on the train. I think there would still have to be a lot of things fall in their favor to <clears throat> to make a deep run. But I think they definitely could win win several playoff games. I think though, I, I would I would if if the playoffs started today, I would pick them to get out of the first round for sure. They would make well, it. Do you know that? State. Hold on. Well, four A is way different. The brackets. Mm hmm. Oh, yep. I forgot about that. So as it stands right now, they would the four A upper state bracket is complete. Um, easily would play a round one game against Aiken, and then play the winner of Greer and Lancaster, and then would match up with Airport on that side. So I think there's a favorable little little side there for the Green Wave. Yeah, I forgot they four A did the playoffs that way. Which is odd, Coach. But, you know, let me, let me throw a little. Let me throw a little plug, and I'm like, I'm gonna give Coach Stu here a lot of love, love on this one. All you listeners out there, make sure you're following Prep Baseball on our brackets once they come out here for the playoffs. Yes, we're gonna have those things up to date, kind of following, let the people know when, where the matchups, who they are. We'll have those brackets rolling. Obviously, we got to get through this week, and and as soon as we know, we'll be following it this week. But once they kind of get solidified and get in there, we're going to have those brackets out there and making sure everybody knows those matchups and, and where they're they're locking in at. And we already got some of these brackets already kind of locked in but not released as, as the region results flow through here. Um, but that should be look, looking at a, a Saturday-Sunday release, Coach, and we'll talk about yep. it on the podcast next Sunday. Um, Watch out now. Pred- prediction time. Um, so number seven – uh, we're going to see the Lawrence Raiders, um, region champs. Yet again, it feels like um, another very talented team, um, nonetheless. Yeah, they they've been they've kind of been up there for for the whole year for us. Um, you know, new as a talented team with 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 a good pitching staff, with an athletic lineup, and Austin, you saw the, saw those guys play, so 
they 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 they're one of those few teams that I feel like were up there at the beginning and have stayed up there and, and have moved up as well. Hey, never know. We'll see what kind of run they can make. I don't. They, they their matchups already set for their thing too, but I can't pull it back up. Um, <laughs> number six is Chapin. Big series this week. Big series. Big series. They've been kind of running running through everybody this year, and they're going to kind of line up and see if they can get that championship against the defending state champ. So we'll uh, we'll see how that one shakes up. we got a big-time series for those boys. So Chapin, they've been doing it all year. See if they can continue it on and, and get that championship against River Bluff. It'll be a fun series. Hey, and if they can win the region, they might jump this team at number five here. Um, mm. The Lexington Wildcats are probably the best pitching coach slash blast person in the country. <clears throat> Hands down, the best blast guy, arguably the best pitching coach. Um, coach Lever, Coach Hux, and the boys up there at Lexington, that lineup, right? We, we kind of talked about them. They were kind of the bottom, and they've, they've kind of risen up, had a little bit. Kind of like a lot of these guys had to replace a lot of dudes in that lineup from last year and big shot coach, coach Huck's got the boys in, in contention, got them winning a bunch of games and some of their older guys start to step up and, and lead the way. So the Wildcats watch out now. Watch <clears throat> out and fighting levers. Um, at number four are the chiefs. They have the uh, best uniforms in the country, right? Also. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know. I, I can only think I can respond to that. <laughs> Coaches, you easily have a snapback. Holy cow! It is. Stay hot. Go. We got, this, is, this is the snap, best hat. This snap, is the best hat ever gifted. Snap, snapbacks and tattoos. Go for you. We didn't even talk about North Myrtle. Uh, the Chiefs, <laughs> real arm talent. That's why they're four. We keep leaving them there. Um, you brought up their uniforms and got us into a tailspin. <laughs> Yeah, I often shut down when I said uniforms. Um, hey, and then at number three here, um, we just we can just throw this up there. Um, at, at number three, <laughs> we got the Fighting Stewie Ox of Anahan. They, they <clears throat> took a, a tough L to to Austin Smith's team, but still, obviously, very talented team. One game will not define. Uh, they were missing two key pieces of that team on that game. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Well, you know, hold on. So we released the line on that game that day, um, and we had Omar comment and say, hey, we need an injury report so we know which way to go with the line. Come mm. to find out, we really should have had an injury report for that game. So, so I that don't even know if it's think... much of an injury report uh, or a, uh, another kind of report. Um, but, yeah. It was, uh, Omar, Omar seemed to – it seems as though he knew a little something. I think Omar he's directly said... affiliated with Berkeley. And what happened with the Jan- or, uh, Hanahan and Berkeley game kind of decided that injury report. Mm. So, I, so Omar is somewhere in Berkeley. Hmm. Omar, we need you to let us know who you are. Brittle? Coach Brittle? That's what I'm thinking. I feel like it's Coach uh, Landy Cox. Mm. <laughs> I'm intrigued now. I had a good. I spent a good portion of my life here thinking that it was Lever, but now I don't think it is because I think Lever knows nothing about Hanahan personally. So he's out. Yeah. Lever got to. He doesn't even before. know where Hanahan is. He probably don't. I'm. I'm thinking he, now. He, I'm he with you. I think like it's Clemson. for the for the fact that somebody somebody knew something there. I mean, and they would only know if they were they played them the week before. Yeah, Omar, we're on to you. We're on to you, Omar. Yeah, we're yeah, we we're, we're picking up. What if o- here. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe Omar is Charlie Winsky. <laughs> no, I doubt, I doubt <laughs> he might be, it, it might be one. Jerome. I doubt. <laughs> <laughs> you might have known. <laughs> I doubt Charlie Winsky's listening to us right now. That's my take. Yeah, Charlie, if you're listening um, to us, please text me right now. <laughs> In the that moment we've is. all been waiting for, we're about to find out whether or not this Power 25 is a complete scam or not. 
<laughs> yep, hey, it is. Got, it's a scam. We, it's a, it got, is a complete we, scam. Hey, in, in no, <laughs> under no circumstance, can a team who has only lost one game all year to a team that's not even from this freaking state, they just run ruled the number three team who we've got goofy looking family guy characters made up about the number three team. And, and we just, nah, we're just number two. We're just two. You know, we got, you know what, boys, we that's, the, that's all the motivation you need. Keep, you just got to be better than yesterday again. Sorry. But what I mean, scam. coach, we're, I'm going to tell people I wouldn't even buy subscriptions to this anymore. Just, just stop. But it, well, it's a, it's a <laughs> complete con. <clears throat> You know, we're we're all on board with you. We obviously love James Allen, but the fact that the clearly team that you're is not ahead of the team that well, ahead well, of him is twenty and two, and is the defending state champion as well. So as as the great Rick Flair has said, like we've talked about before, to be the man, you must beat the man. Well, and where I come from, the man. two is more than one. What they have a tie. What? They have a tie, so you can't. Uh-uh. James Allen tied. They shouldn't have tied against this team. So that's what's counting against them. It's the quality of games. Your so we're we're talking about quality had, losses over here with a team a, that's got less a, losses. Quad four tie. That's so stupid. <laughs> I'm just going. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Look, we were on Warren Nolan's RPI earlier. They got a lower RPI. No shot. You know what's you know you know what'll figure this thing out is if these two guys just match up at the end. I we'll let it all they're gonna match up. That'd be fun. I think if all they do, I think we need to go to the game and all set up like a like all three of us set up like a PA booth. And we, do will, live we will do live stream. We will we will depending on our schedule, because obviously we start to get into our events like we talked about earlier, our scout days. If it's possible, we will all three be there, and we will do a live podcast before the game. I think we should do it during the game. Well, uh, we're, we got to work for an after game. Live stream the whole game. We'll let Blake come. Um, we, he can do the radar gun and stuff. We don't. <laughs> I don't think we have that capability of live streaming the whole game from, but we will. If if that's possible, we will we will be at those games for a live podcast, and we'll let Austin either bask in his glory or sulk on live podcasting, whatever this is called. <laughs> be great. Um, hey, we're got over a thousand people watched our dumb selves today. <laughs> Um, <laughs> they were all they were all watching in anticipation to see the James Island Trojans be ranked number one, and they're not. So they're probably all about to log off. Log off. We haven't lost any followers. <laughs> you better, you better <laughs> lose. You you, you fit to lose one. We have we <laughs> haven't talked. We haven't started talking WWE wrestling yet. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> look at that I'm anger. Like, look at I'm that done. anger in his I'm face done. right now. He's... He, I'm, I'm shook. <laughs> He's... <laughs> He's so mad. I'm just going to go back to watching the Braves game over here. I'm going to keep we talking. Break, we got, we Braves got to win. to repeat the top 25. Bye. Coach, that'll be released tomorrow. Yeah, it'll be a graphic, and then you can also kind of – this will be out on YouTube in 30 minutes. So. Yeah, and we'll have this released tomorrow. It'll, we'll put it on a story, give or take, some time between 10 and 11 o'clock. i got to do some other stuff, but it'll be around that time. We'll get this thing released. In the morning. That'll be hey, 5.30 we, if you want to know on that one, ne- Coach. Next week is going to be big. Um, we will reveal the playoff bracket. Um, make some some last minute predictions and changes, um, as well as reveal the the updated Power Twenty Five. So we'll change it in a week. Also, probably not going to change one two. Austin just let you know. So if you don't want to join, you don't have to. Um, we this but, will also be 
until the very end, our last week of doing the updated uh, classification rankings. Yes. So we'll yeah. we'll do that this week. We'll do the the five A, four A, three A, two A, and one A in Skiza, um, rolling in this week. It will be the last week of that one before the the final one. So we will get those. That that'll be the last Power Twenty Five till the end of the year as well. Whew. Because a lot, lot of, lot, lot of actions about to break down. So who knows? Um, we'll, we'll get those predictions. Austin won't change his, um, but we'll get those predictions finalized as the brackets wrap up, um, and we'll have those out. Um, those will go out Sunday too, Coach. Coach, I it, think we, we start on Monday. It is I'm Monday. Crush isn't? that bracket prediction. It's going to be just like our bowl pick them. But here's the question: Will you? If, Will you get? Will you get the pub when you win it? Unlike probably not the bowl pick. Probably not. Probably not. No I didn't get the pub here. when I won the it's March okay. Madness bracket. And people quit watching that tournament after like the second round. Nobody cares. What are you talking about Wolfpack, baby? You know, so I'll, I'll throw this one in. Speaking of basketball, so I, I took hey, my son to uh, obviously uh, out to Charleston. Real quick, I got to throw this one out. It's funny. So, Coach Holbrook, I'm down. We're down there in the dugout, and if you guys don't know. Coach Holbrook went to North Carolina. Obviously, a big North Carolina fan. And so I said, "Hey, I said, Coach, how about the Wolf Pack?" And he goes, "Yeah, he goes, that's good. Good for them. Once every forty years ain't a bad thing." Mm. <laughs> it just just crushed my hopes know. and dreams, you know, as, as a fan. But you know, what are you gonna do? Hey, Austin, we have some people that have your back. Okay. Um, Who? <laughs> we got a quad I'm four loss on the board. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, but that's a that's a good loss though. You know, hey. that's what they say. That's what the people are telling me. It's a quad four. It's a good loss. <laughs> <My camera messing up. laughs> they did. Lost they the, didn't lose to York. Lost to the fight yeah. in Eddie Tisdale's. That's a good loss. <laughs> the former <laughs> the former Cat Manny's. Yep. Hey, so. <laughs> With, oh God, almighty. home um, cooking! If we'll, I've ever seen it, holy smoke! We'll wrap. <laughs> Look, he's dead. He is a, he's lost right now. I feel you know. I feel bad too because it's it's like I'm I'm pulling against Catawba Ridge, but I'm really not because I I do I am fully aware they're very good. Like, it, in the words of Kirby Smart, that they are elite. But you know, <laughs> and y'all no keep saying to- y'all keep saying all you gotta do is just keep winning. And I don't know what else the boys need to do. I don't. I well, they the both. The problem is the other team is winning too. Yeah, well, they've lost more. <laughs> no, and no offense here to North Myrtle because they're they're as equally as talented as those other teams. Yes. Yeah. And they they went at it last year against Catawba. I I don't know. Obviously, we we need to get to the North Myrtle James Island battle, and I to see, then lead I, us to is. That's what we need to get. I don't know if it's going to get there. And again, that's no. We're not pulling against anybody else. But mm-hmm. if you're trying to get, if you're trying to get the top dogs, everybody loves an underdog, as we all know. But if we're trying to get the top dogs up there, we need to get that North Myrtle James Island battle before one of those two teams we're assuming would take on Catawba. I just hope we get another one of those cool situations like we had last year, where a team from like. Greenville goes and plays in the lower state bracket and lives out of a school bus for a month. Like, that was there's awesome. a chance that happens. That was there's a chance that happens. I hope it does. Maybe it would have happened to Riverside. We can let Pettick yeah. I can be his they, ride out. He can, he can dump all the money that's left in the Riverside <laughs> athletic budget into them <laughs> staying in a Motel 6 for a week. <laughs> Greer, that was incredible by those guys last year. Just driving, barreling up and down, barreling up and down 26. Good for them. That makes a lot of sense, by the way. Let's not get into that. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that next week on episode kind of like 82. having a separate 4A uh, bracket than you have any other classification. <laughs> hey, we'll, we'll wrap this We'll wrap this sucker up before we get too far back going. Um so that'll do us for episode 81. Episode 82 will be big next week. Um, so from all of us here at 
PB, South Carolina. Hope you have a great week.